paraffin array construction is very simple as well. Using the same mold, submerge it into a paraffin bath. Allow the mold to heat up for approximately 15 minutes. Submerge the plastic cassette in paraffin as well. Fill a mold with embedding type paraffin. Place the mold on a cold plate and set the plastic cassette in the center of the array mold and allow to cool for approximately one hour. Once the mold is cool, pry it apart slowly. The punch rods inside the mold will stay intact for many moldings. The specimen layout is the same as any other array instrument on the market. An H&E slide is marked to show the proper punching site in the paraffin donor block. Push the 2 mm dermal needle into the donor tissue block. A single disposable needle can be used for an entire array protocol. If DNA or RNA testing is required, these needles are relatively inexpensive and can be disposed of after each single punch. Insertion is easy. Place the needle over the designated hole in the paraffin array block and push down on the stylet. Because the stylet is flush with the dermal needle tip, the specimen should be flush with the top surface of the array block. If the core comes out of the needle, use forceps to insert the specimen. Flip the forceps over and use the flat end to push the core into the array block. After the array block is constructed, set the array block on a glass light and place in an oven at 40 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. This will soften the paraffin core tissues causing them to stick to each other. Once the paraffin is soft, press the slide and block together gently. This will set the cores into the array block. If the block is still too hard, put the slide and block back in the oven for another five to 10 minutes and repeat the pressing process. Place the array block and slide together in an ice tray and allow to cool. When the array block is cool, section it as a normal paraffin block. The TJ array takes very little experience and is easy to store.